Listen up, because if you're paying top dollar for high-end prams, you might be shocked to find that some strollers pose serious risks to babies. A safety test from Australia's leading consumer advocacy group, Choice, found three popular prams priced at over $2,000 have major safety hazards. Lauren Ellis has the story. They're an essential item that could put your child in danger. The pram carrying her baby rolls onto the tracks into the path of an oncoming train. On this rolling rig for 64 hours at five kilometres an hour, prams were shaken and rolled in the Choice Lab. Small to big name brands tested for durability, how they handled curbs and hills, and most importantly, safety. Some of the prams out there that don't meet our key safety requirements could actually be dangerous in terms of causing strangulation, they could actually cause head entrapment, uh, limb entrapment, they could actually endanger your baby's lives. To be sold in Australia, all prams must meet a mandatory safety standard. But there's also a voluntary standard that covers a range of design and safety features. While overall Choice has seen an improvement in pram safety, three models failed the voluntary tests. This pram is definitely one that we would not recommend. Price, no guarantee of quality, the Stoke Exploratory V6 was given an overall score of 47%. The baby's head could get caught. If you uh, release the buckle, they could slip and their head could get trapped into this area. This is how the straps should separate. So when you press the buckle here, you see a clear separation between the shoulder and the waist straps. The pouch two-in-one pram might save you a lot of money, but it could also put your baby at risk. Basically, when I put this uh, test probe over the edge of the seat, it has a clear head entrapment risk between the top of the seat and this bar here. The buckle also fails to separate easily. The third pram Choice warns against is a silver cross wave. The high-end pram has three safety failures and was given an overall score of 35%. Choice also warns against buying prams online. You do get the odd pram that doesn't meet the mandatory requirements. If you go on some of those online marketplaces, you might see ones that have uh, no red brakes, there's no tether strap. So what pram should you buy for your bundle of joy? There's a lot of styles and a lot of colours and varieties, and so it can be a bit overwhelming. Most people will go through five prams during their child's life. While there's no one-size-fits-all, Judy Bury from Bubs and Grubs says three models are popular among her customers. So Judy, this is your top all-rounder pram. Absolutely, this is the Upper Baby Vista. It is fantastic for those parents who are having a first child and are also planning on having more than one child. And look at all that space, that really appeals to me as a mum of two. That's a huge basket, really, really big. Judy's next pick, the Fuel Urban Glide 2, for active mums and dads. It's fantastic because of the suspension on it. Um, it has a true handbrake system, so it's just a twist system like so. It also features a UPF 50 plus sunshade and a basket for all your essentials. And finally, this is the pram you would recommend for parents with small cars or who love to travel. Absolutely, this is the Baby Zen Yo-Yo travel pram. The pram weighs just six kilograms and when folded will fit in the overhead luggage compartment. Pop it onto your shoulder and away you go travelling. But above all else, safety is key. Choice is now calling on the ACCC to update the mandatory standard to include all design and safety features they test in the lab. It's really important to look out for those key safety requirements and make sure that you buy one that is safe. Yeah, what an interesting report. And the new model prams, which are really popular in stores this season, they're yet to be put through the test by choice. Stoke and Silver Cross responded to the safety test, stating that their prams do meet all Australian safety standards. And we can find the full response. We'll put it on the website as well. But it's a really important issue. Are you